Hey guys, what's up? So if you follow me on Twitter, you would have seen two tweets. And so today I decided that I would talk about that because it's another mental health video. Yay. I actually really do love filming. These are my favorite things to do because it is a topic that I'm extremely passionate about. Okay, so last week I had a relative pass away from a very aggressive cancer. Um, so yeah, I was grieving and I was doing a lot with my family and stuff. And today I just want to talk about the concept of grieving because I know personally I have been in some form of counseling revolving around grief at least three times in my life. And they all kind of say the same things. I mean, I've been given a couple of different techniques, but it's like, I don't know. It's just one of those things you're going to have to bear with me because I don't know how to phrase things necessarily, but um, like I said, this is a really important topic and it's one I feel that not many people talk about. And it doesn't matter how close you were to the person, it doesn't matter if you guys were best friends or if you were just acquaintances, you feel the loss in some way, shape, or form. For me, this relative was someone who went to my church and I interacted with uh, not as frequently as some people in church did, but still I did feel the loss and that's just part of the grieving process. There's like, I'm sure you could research a bunch of different like the stages of gr the grieving process and I'm not going to get into that here or now, but I'm here to say that A, all of the emotions you feel revolving around the grief is completely valid. Don't let anyone tell you that it's not valid. And B, it is okay to show your emotions and it is okay to talk about it. So the first point, your emotions are valid. Your emotions are valid every single time. Whatever you're feeling, there is a reason you're feeling it and you are allowed to feel that way. It's kind of like something that's attached to the stigma of mental health that needs to change where we are so wrapped up in our own lives that we feel that the person next to us has it worse than us. But how do we know that if we haven't talked about it? Which leads into my second point. Um, talk about it. It's okay to talk about it. The funeral was last week, um, and it was kind of like, it was a short service, but it was also a very nice service. It's definitely different than all the other funerals I've been to, and I'm only 19, but it was the family, like, immediate family, so like children and siblings and stuff like that, decided it would be best if people shared stories of the person who passed away. And only one person shared a story, but it was that one simple story that made everyone laugh. And then later on at the luncheon, you kind of overheard other conversations. But yeah, it's okay to talk about it, even though talking about it isn't necessarily going to change the situation. It's a way for you to not bottle things up. And bottling things up is one of the most like detrimental things to your mental health, and that also goes along with people having it worse than you and you not wanting to talk about it and this channel for me is a way for me to talk about these things and it's also a way for me to talk about my passions and stuff like that. I want my words to impact someone whether it be one person or a thousand people. That one person can make a world of difference and that's kind of the legacy that I want to leave. But anyways that's it for this week's video. It's a short little ramble but hopefully I don't know I feel better letting this all off my chest and I also sat down today to plan some really fun exciting videos that are more upbeat than the last couple have been so yes get excited for those give this video a thumbs up comment down below I'm always here if you guys have any questions just connect with me on any of my social media I did create a new Instagram so I'll leave the link to that down below but yeah I will see you guys next time Look who I'm with! We were just in Sephora and now I don't know where we're going. H&M. We're going to H&M. H &M. H &M.